Hello everyone, it's First Impressions Review Time and today we're going to be looking at Defender Highlands, a combination of an RTS and tower based game. With a little bit of a difference, this takes a more of a comedy aspect. You are the Scots and you are fighting the English, Welsh and Irish. So far this game has been funny, it's addictive and challenging and there's a lot of features in this and it is quite in depth, so let's get into the game. So to start off, let's actually have a look at the settings. This game comes with the features of being able to change the volume, music, the actual actors, increasing the graphic quality and of course increasing the difficulty. So as you're aware if you've been watching all my other videos that I've done, let's crack the difficulty onto high and let's get started with this game. When you first start you get to pick a name and you also get a tutorial. It shows you straight off the bat how funny this game is. So instead of your standard tower defense where you're thinking, right, okay, we've got these big machines, all this stuff. Instead, what you have is you have Scotsmen throwing bottles at people and porridge. Not stereotypical at all. In terms of the RTS style of this, these are oak farms which you're looking at now. And what you have to do is two things. Firstly, you need to get a Scotsman on those oak farms. You need to keep the oak coming in because if it goes too low, your Scotsman will just abandon you. The second thing is your regular Scotsman. Once you've got some oak fields, you can click the bagpipes. The bagpipes will recruit more Scotsmen. Now, this level in particular, I thought I'd show because look, in the background, you've got Nessie the Loch Ness Monster helping you in this battle. If the English get too close, the Loch Ness Monster will have a chow time with them. In terms of playing this game, it is quite simple in the first levels, but as you get more and more into the games, unlocking more equipment, the amount of enemies that comes towards you and the amount of oak fields that you have to protect and be more strategic gets immense. This game, it looks very simple, but trust me, it gets very difficult and for some reason it's very addictive as well it's just funny you've got the straight up banter between the Scots the English and very stereotypes of the types of characters as well for example the Englishman you've got the rugby players the cricket players and of course you've just got the standard Englishmen that are throwing tea at you <laughs> so that's it's really really enjoyable you can scroll up and down you can tweak your camera settings by just using the mouse there is no major issues in terms of the actual gameplay, it's quite smooth, the artificial intelligence is pretty good as well. There is only one issue that I found in this early release and that's the fact that if you place your barriers in certain positions, your Scotsman get a little bit confused and start running in circles near them. So that is just a minor tweak, but in terms of everything else, the gameplay is nice and smooth. Once you actually finish a mission as well, you get to go to a screen where you can upgrade your Scotsman, your equipment, and your defense with each level you get around one to three points that you can assign and it's very simple if you look at the pictures at the bottom they're what you're assigning things to that item that you're looking at there is kind of like a whiskey table you send a scotsman to it it starts drinking and throwing up and that poisons other people that come within the vicinity of it not my favorite weapon as i progress through this game i like the cannon but the next level when you unlock the golf club that is so funny the game's interpretation of a sniper so, as you can imagine, you've got the Scotsman whacking some golf balls, smashing the people on the head. One of the feature there is the save functionality. After you complete each mission, you get to save the game. So, we'll go back to this mission. We'll show you the ending of this. This is the actual whiskey table here. I'm trying to use it to see what it does, but I don't really get it. But as you can see, when you progress through the game, all you need to do is you just need to knuckle down look at trying to find a way to defend those oak fields and once you've got it nailed you just need to ensure that you destroy the rest of the enemies if you look at the top right hand corner that shows you your progression throughout the game as you can see i'm about halfway through this mission in terms of the missions themselves they're quite funny straightforward there's nothing too sinister behind them there's not much law behind it apart from we're the scots and we're defending our country so I've got really much else to add to be honest, this game is a lot of fun, it's addictive, it is challenging. The way that the interpretation of the game has come along is good. If you've got a sense of humour you will enjoy this game. It is supposed to be a funny game, stereotyping the different types of people within the United Kingdom. That just makes me laugh every time I see a new, new enemy to take on and it's some sort of stereotype. It is proper, proper funny. 
first impressions for this game are brilliant. Graphics wise, they're good. Artificial intelligence is good. The tower defense side of things is also very effective. I've got no qualms about this game at all. I'm looking forward to completing this early release. So stay tuned for the full review and hopefully I'll have more fun facts for you. So hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Scotland.